Hey guys, I'm Laura Clark from Sage and Thimble uh, Soap Company and today I am going to make soap for you. Um, I was going to try to do a TikTok live, but in my learning, <laughs> I don't have enough followers. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this uh, and maybe you guys will like and follow. Um, so we'll see where we're at. I've got everything prepared for us today, so let's get started. All right, so first thing first is safety first. I've got my long sleeve shirt on as well as my gloves uh, to make sure that we don't get any hot oil. And because we intend to sell our soaps at the end, we wanna make sure we're sanitary as well. So I've measured out all of the ingredients. So right here, I have my coconut oil, which is gonna be our first thing on. Now I've got toothpicks to go underneath the bowl here. That just really helps with making sure that it doesn't like spray everywhere. Once it starts boiling, this is just a double boiler I've got going on. So there's just a tiny bit of water in the bottom of the pot. We're gonna get it nice and hot going on here. Pardon my arm in the way. So we're gonna get this starting to cook down like I said, this is just our olive oil. The next thing we want to add is our next most solid oil, which is actually going to be a butter. It's our cocoa butter. It makes for a really nice smooth skin. And then we've got our olive oil. Make sure we scrape it all in. Now I measure all of my ingredients by weight. So I've got my little recipe and I measure everything by weight and down to be exact. Soap making is a little bit more like baking than it is like cooking because of the way that the oils react to the lye. Now I do make goat's milk soap, if you were unaware. So, well, I see we're starting to steam on the bottom, which is good. Once we kind of get the oils up and going, we're going to speed it up a little for you. All right, so the next oil that we're gonna put in is actually gonna be the sunflower oil, which is another really great one for skin. And then our last oil is actually going to be castor oil. This just makes for a really, really nice skin feel with the soap. It's a little bit thicker of an oil than the others, but it's gorgeous on the skin. All right, then we're gonna let this slowly cook down and then I'll take you over and I'll show you how we do the goat's milk and the lye and for that I will be putting my dogs away and adding a respirator so if you hear me next and I sound a little funny I promise that's why all right guys as you can see we have moved over I still have my gloves on but I have changed to the scary respirator but I am going to be doing this a little bit blind because we do have to be careful with lye. Um, 
I've got my sodium hydroxide light, and then this in here is actually goat's milk that I have frozen. And then now we're gonna start putting in the lye. And the thing with the lye is that it makes it really hot because of the chemical reaction it has. So we're gonna slowly bring this in, and you always want to do the lye into uh, you always want to put the lye into the milk or into the water. You never want to do it the other way around. So I've got it on my scale. I'm going to do this child walk. And then we're going to get this going. Now it's gonna seem like it's a lot of lye, but I actually have two batches of soap going into this. So I kind of need a lot for what I'm doing. But again, we're being very exact. I am doing this with the windows open again for safety. start melting the goat's milk and by having it frozen it actually helps because it uh, cools it down as it's going so that it doesn't get too hot for us because at the end of the day what we want to have happen is we want to have the lye and goat's milk solution about five to ten degrees close to our oil solution that we had before. So we'll let this melt down, I'll let you watch me mix it, and then we'll get going with the big set.